Hello everyone! Welcome to this game! Okay, uh, there's gonna be an opening cinematic playing after this, so I'm just gonna go ahead and give a quick introduction. So, I have never played this game before. I've never seen anybody else play it either. And in fact, up until now, I have only ever played one 3D Sonic game. That being Sonic Adventure 2 Battle on GameCube. So, that is where my bar is set. It looks like an interesting game. A lot of people scoffed at the idea of a werehog, but I'll be perfectly honest, that is what attracted me to this game in the first place. Sega. Uh, I miss the old Sega. I had to do that. This opening is so reminiscent of the opening of a Star Wars. Just needs that text scroll. I of course knew that this uh, cutscene was going to be playing because I had to make sure that the game actually worked. It works. Also, this opening is awesome. I wish I could say that I haven't seen it yet, but I have. Like I said, I had to make sure the game worked. But I love this opening. This is what I want to see from a Sonic movie. This, of course, is pre-rendered. I'm playing this on Wii, and there's no way that the Wii would be able to produce this in real time. Also, there is no way my old internet would be able to handle this. It would be a blurry mess right now. Like, really blurry. That's why I wanted to play this before I have to downgrade back to that old internet. Huzzah! I don't know how this game plays, but they're definitely giving a good first impression. And, um... This is a... thing. What is this, Mega Man? Seriously, who designed that thing? I love the animation of this too, by the way. It is all bouncy and stuff.
Yeah, that's as cool as I was hoping. But what is the deal with this thing? Isn't it a little early to be summoning the giant death thing? I find it interesting that he's not surprised about Sonic's transformation. By the way, have fun opening Eggland after probably killing almost everyone on the planet with this. And considering how many people died just now, probably, this is a very happy tune. Uh, Wario Land says that the opening was good, but long. Uh, I liked it. I don't mind that it was a little on the long side. I, I, um, it's like watching a movie. Hey, wait, wait, no, I wasn't... No, we're not watching it again, though. Let's get back. to actually starting the game. Actually, let's take a quick look in options. Language, audio, what's you got in audio? Not a whole lot. Controller settings, yep. Okay, so I'm using the Wii Remote and Nunchuck combo because supposedly this game has some sort of motion controls attached to it. However, I am sitting at my computer because that's how I stream games. I got my main monitor where the chat and stuff is, and then I also have the screen that my Wii is connected to. I'm a little close to this, and if that doesn't work out for me, I'll switch to the classic controller. I tell you what, it's actually kind of... No, no. Where's my cursor? Actually, I might go ahead and switch to the... I might go ahead and switch to the classic controller right off the bat if that's going to be a thing. I'll, I'll give this a shot though. Okay, so let's get started. I know there's another long cutscene coming up, but this one I have not watched. I kind of closed my eyes and covered my ears just to get to the first gameplay segment to test play that. So, don't know much what's going to happen here. Alright, I gotta choose a file. Um, that one. Oh boy, those are some old me's. Let's just kind of skip a Actually, let me go through these real quick, because there's a couple interesting ones. No idea who this is, just some random me I downloaded one time, kind of interesting. And there's also this alien thing, I think this one I actually created myself. Named in Zalfak. However, I'm just gonna go with Tails because Tails is awesome. Don't actually get to play as Tails, I don't think. So he at least gets on the file select.
Yep, definitely cartoony physics. And sounds. What the heck is going on? Hey, are you okay? Pull yourself together! Well, that's an interesting view. <laughs> Don't eat me! I taste bad! You okay? Nothing broken? So is this gonna be the Almachu of this game? Oh, I'm just fine. Thanks for asking, Mr. Monster Guy. Mr. Monster Guy? Looks like things have gotten pretty ugly. Yeah, look at those teeth and those claws. What's your name, anyway? I'm Sonic. Sonic the Hedgehog. And you are? Huh? What is my name? Ah, I don't know. Oh. I can't remember. We're going with this subplot. Did you just talk to the camera? I like that they actually changed Sonic's voice for the Werehog form. Oh well, easy come, easy go. Oh, I guess we ran out of cutscene. Time for some text. Okay, uh, since we've spent the first 15 minutes just about having spoken dialogue, I guess I'll do the speaking from here. Huh? You're blue and spiky. You're all different, Sonic. Sometimes you're scary and sometimes you're spiky. How cool is that? I know, right? Alright then, let's go. This is gonna be fun. Adventure, here we come. Let's try to remember actions as we search the town. Okay, finally getting to some gameplay. Again, I don't mind how long it took to get to this point, because watching those cutscenes was just fun. I enjoyed them. Use jumps to reach the goal ring. Windmill Isle Day Stage. Use jumps to make your way to the goal ring. Okie dokie. You don't say. I would have never expected that this platformer would have you jump with the A button. No problem. Well, that is probably the easiest first level in a Sonic game ever. Nice, by the way, that I didn't have to shake the Wiimote in order to jump. Use the Sonic Drift on turns. Use Sonic Drift to breeze through the turns. Okay, this one, you need to tell me how to do this. And you're not telling me. Quick, tell me. Z button. Been a while since I've 
uh, use this controller. Where's the Z button? Okay. Interesting. The good news is these little screens are shorter than the ones in Sonic 06. Use homing attacks to reach the gold ring. Now these I know about. No, oh, this time you stop. Oh, okay. Here we go. Yeah, some people don't like the fact that there's a homing attack, kind of takes the challenge out of platforming. Uh, I feel like they're a necessity when it comes to Sonic, because I'd imagine enemies would be really hard to aim for normally. I know I at least have trouble jumping on enemies with 3D Mario games, that's why I prefer punches and kicks and slides. Okay, so use Sonic Boost to scatter the enemies. Do tell. Oh, there are rings up ahead. Try and get them, Sonic. Did you see how grabbing rings filled up the boost gauge at the lower left of the screen? Once it's full, nope. shake the Wii remote to do a Sonic Boost. During a Sonic Boost, You'll send enemies and obstacles flying as you zip right through them. No problem! Maddie Ratty says the humming attack has always been good for keeping the game's flow. I feel it's a good mechanic for keeping the pace going. Yeah, that's true. Oh boy, there's a lot of moves I'm gonna have to learn here. Okay, so use slides to slip through the tight spots. Okay, so jumping was A, drifting was Z, and then the boost and the homing attack were shaking the Wiimote. Well, it's simple to remember that stuff, I'm pretty sure. So how do we do slides then? Z button again. Gotcha. No problem. I imagine I'm going to have a little bit of difficulty with this. Expect me to run into walls and stuff. Particularly when things get particularly fast paced. Dodge on a dime with a quick step. Use quick steps to dodge the attacks. I Hold down the B button and tap left or right on the control stick to do a quick step. I just noticed that as this is going on, the day is getting brighter. We started at pretty early in the morning. That's a nice touch. Hold down the B button on top. Okay, yes. B button is under the Wiimote. All right, so let's try that. You should be able to dodge even the speediest enemy attacks. Yeah, we'll see about that. Level up. Curtis Prime 96, welcome to my stream. 
Starting this game up for the first time, uh, so far we've had some cool cinematics and tutorial. I think I'm at the end of the tutorial, though. Let's get to some post-tutorial stuff real quick. I assume the game auto-saves. Starting to get darker. Oh, so that's what the level ups is then? Okay, yep. I'll tell you what, Sonic's got some weight to him. Okay. Oop, nope. Almost missed that. Yeah, I definitely missed that. Oh, we, we wrapped around back to that first tutorial, huh? Okay. That was a good freeze frame. However, that was what I was concerned about. I'm so close to the TV and the motion sensor that kind of um, lost connection there. So next chance I get, I'm going to quit and change to the classic controller. Seriously though, that was kind of funny how he flattened himself on the wall there. I'm not trying to dash, I'm trying to do the, uh, attack. The homing attack. Yeah, this is taking a little getting used to. Okay, I see what's going on here. We're playing through the whole tutorial section now. Well. That was not great. Okay, I'm just going to say it now, this is not going to be a 100% playthrough, because if it's anything like Sonic Adventure 2, getting getting uh, the best ranking in each level is going to be kind of a pain. Secret Movie 1. was all about the hair and those arms and and look at the chaos emeralds so is this what you usually look like yeah this is the real me pretty cool huh huh where'd you go and that is what humans in the sonic world should look like Supreme is the pride of the city. <laughs> the whole world can come tumbling down, but they'll still light up for a taste. Mm, 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 mm. Hey! What about your memories? Uh, chocolate chip, Sunday Supreme. <laughs> you said it. Uh, Enjoy yeah, it, yeah. kiddo. Satisfaction yeah. guaranteed. If you don't love it, you get your money back. Hey! Oh, I love it. I guess he had money, so there's that. Wow, this chip whatever stuff is great. You say so. Okay, I suddenly want an ice cream cone the size of me. Chip? Gotta call you something, don't I? What do you think? Yeah, chip. Chip. I love it. Yum. Now what do you say we start asking around and see if anybody here knows you? Okay.
Oh, yeah. I should probably discuss this. However, before I discuss this, we're gonna go ahead and head into our first episode break of today's stream. We're going on break for two reasons. Breaks are nice, and also I'm eventually gonna split this stream into smaller episodes at YouTube. With that said, we will be right back. <laughs> 